Well, there ain't nothing like pushing time. We are one week away before the day that the season comes in, and I don't really have no deer to hunt. There really ain't many of us on the team that do. Um, all the deer we really have are in Alabama, and the season doesn't come in until October 15th over there. So until then, we're kind of just scratching our heads, twiddling our thumbs. I'm going out here to my in-laws place right now to hang a stand and put a camera up, pour some corn out. Um, I got out of a lease that I was hunting the last few years in another county just because we sold our house, moved out here. Um, it's gonna be like an hour drive from where I'm at now to that lease, so I, mean, I just decided to throw that out and use my time as wisely as possible. Um, we're gonna pop out here to a place that hasn't really been messed with. It's a section of the property that's I mean, kind of like the rest of it. It's real grown up, um, but it's got a good edge between like some open hardwoods and some real thick bedding. And we're gonna pour this corn out and see what we can find and hopefully next Saturday we'll have something to shoot at. Okay, we are in the thick of it. And I'm not gonna take this whole bag of corn. I'm just gonna take probably 20, 25 pounds of it and spread it out very, very sparsely to try to make it less of a actual feed station and more of just a snacking on your way through. What is in here? I bet that's that uh, mineral that I had months ago. Alright, so the set is up and limbs are trimmed. We gotta pour this corn out. We gotta figure out our camera situation because Apparently the camera we have bought does not want to work. So we got to go take care of that, get a new cell camera in here and get it on this corn pile. And hopefully by next Saturday, we'll have a deer in here regular enough to come meet them. It's a chip shop. I just need to be here when one enters. Close the deal. Transition area over here. Deer kind of filter in and out of here. And uh, we're gonna come in the back side of them, dip right here to this tree. And catch one slipping. So most of y'all think I moved out of my house into my in-laws, but I moved into the OG hunting camp house. This is the hunting cabin. Has been for years. I wish this OG <laughs> house had some food. <laughs> First day of season. What's your prediction? What's my prediction? What's your prediction? My prediction. That'd be impressive. I'd be impressed if that really happened. <laughs> Man, dang you boy, you couldn't climb a tree right now. Good news. Put your boots on and everything. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, pack, my bro. What? Little odd turkey seed moves here. Nothing like waiting until opening day. Hey man. You know what they say? Chris is over here still sleeping, bro. Chris is just pouting. Chris, what's wrong, man? <laughs> Sleep. Oh, I like that shirt you got on, though. Thanks, man. My friend gave it to me. Good morning, folks. We made it to another opening day. Thank God, good. Ain't he good? Not a lot of high hopes this morning. It's still warmish. Mosquitoes are everywhere. And sitting in a spot that I hung a stand last weekend. Hadn't had many pictures here. But the wind is 
good. It's opening day. And we can legally kill one if we see one. So why not go? Bryce tagged along this morning. No need in blowing deer out on opening day, so we played it safe. I got to leave at 8.30 or so to go do that baseball stuff. But I got time to let one loose right here if I need to. So we're going to see what happens. Good luck to all of you folks. Out there trying to kill one. B-roll or nothing on that one. Let me see if I can get this thing turned around here. But um, we I hung the stand last weekend and put some corn right here. I bet you money that's that deer that was in here yesterday at 12:50. <laughs> she come here and leave that stone. She thought. She said, she I bet that. I'm gonna go check that out. I might be back in the morning. And she eased up in here, got right here by this camera, and she sniffed at that camera or something right there by it. Yeah. Can you see it right there? Not really. It's in them bushes, literally in them bushes right there. Yeah. And I was so, expecting deer to do kind of like that. Coming out of here. Yeah. Funneling back, going in here to bed. But we just rolled that joker, son. Oh, yeah. Oh, and day smashing. Well, we looked at the footage. And uh, she's roasted, so we're going to shimmy on out of this tree. Man, it felt good to climb up the tree today. And then we're going to go find out where she died. Shoot, I know where she died. 
<laughs> Not far from that door. Where's your ride across that road? She's right over there. She's right over there. She's a little bit further in there. She yeah, she came out up here. Bryce found her. Old Boo found her. He's like a bloodhound, y'all. Man, I walked right into a spider wheel. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a bloodhound. He found her. He found her. Where you at, boo? I'm right over here. Oh, okay. I hit her a little high, but... Hey, man. He gets the job done. He gets the job done. What a deer we got here, folks. I don't think you're pulling that one out, bro. Oh, okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I would have honestly liked to see it go through her. Ranch Ferry. <laughs> and then <them> FMJs. <laughs> but hey, she is. She did. Dead. Dragon shape, I can promise. <laughs> hey, boy. Hey, son, you already left? You gotta go get her. You wanna make one Abigail, come see what daddy did. <laughs> She's like, oh, what about that? And she ain't milking. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That's the truth of a Georgia doe. 